kabar? Hi. Hi, welcome. Hi everyone. Welcome. Oh, you did it. Hi. Hi, you have your cameras on. So great to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, Richard, I've done a lot of actual conversing with you lately. Paige. Hey, Paige. Hi, Yana. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Oh, my God. So happy you guys are all making it. In. Shoshana. Hello. Everything worked out. <laughs> Hi, Paige. Yeah. Hi, Mary. It's so nice to see you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Lina, you made it. Hi, everyone. Welcome, everyone. So Hello. nice to see everyone's beautiful faces. Wow. Mm -hmm. We'll wait till everybody, we'll, we'll wait till everybody, some more people start to hop on. We had about 24 people who were actually interested in coming. Um, hopefully we'll have more than that because uh, not everyone seems to respond um, with polls and stuff because everyone's so busy. So we'll just give it about three minutes. Um, you know, just introduce yourself in the chat. Tell us where you're from and uh, just have a little conversation going on in the background there too. Katie's here, hey Katie, Brenda's here, Maria, Donna. Hello Katie, we have two Katie's. Katie's here, welcome. Daria's here, Carmen. Hi, hello, hello. Hi, Desiree. Hi. Hello, iPhone is here too. Not sure who that is, but welcome. Oh, hello, hi, hi. Mississauga. We got Mississauga, we got Toronto. I'm so happy everyone's coming. And oh, Ancaster and Waterloo. I'm so happy everyone's coming to Niagara Falls. It's going to be absolutely spectacular. Waterloo. Debbie and Claudia from Waterloo. Awesome. Erin, kids kids from Erin, Ontario. Oh, lovely. Hi, Shauna. Paige is from Buffalo. We have one U.S. person coming across the border. <laughs> Everyone, this is Paige from U.S. Richard from Waterloo. Elgin, Port Elgin. Wow, really amazing. That. We got 18 people coming on board. Awesome. Hi, Lorraine. Lorraine, where are you from? Carlos is here. Hi, Carlos. So we'll give it a couple more minutes. We've got 18 people on board now. Hey, Carlos. Hey, from Canada. Tor uh, Toronto. Mrs. Aga. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Hi, Paulina. Ciao, ciao, Bella. This is so exciting. Unbelievable. So just so that you know, we have close to, I think, 100 people that um, have mm -hmm. registered. And that doesn't include, because some people have, when they enter the Google um, form, I asked, are you bringing anybody? But some people answered, yes, I'm bringing one or two people, but not all of them have actually registered. So we might actually have four. So we'll see what the turnout's gonna be on Saturday morning. Donna, welcome from St. Catharines. Hey, 21 people, <laughs> yay. Going in numbers. So guys, you want to, should we wait a couple more minutes or you guys, should we get started? What do you think? Should we get started? Yeah, I'll keep an yeah. eye on the okay, room. Let's get started. Yeah. It's at 730 um, and we want to save some time for Q&A if anyone has any questions at the end. So I'll get started. I'm Mary. Hi, I'm the one that's been Hello. here. Uh, and organizing all the stuff in the background. It's been uh, quite an amazing journey. Um, so to say the least, but it's been very rewarding. I'm very, very, so thrilled to be doing this. Can't wait till Saturday morning comes. The excitement's gonna be like unbelievable. We have an amazing location, an amazing location. And just a little history there. Uh, yeah. when, we, when we did um, Niagara in 2019, uh, Paulina and I, Paulina also is uh, also been helping. So hi Paulina, say hello to everyone there. And um, we uh, decided that we were gonna do um, an event that's, you know, in, um, 
in close to Niagara Falls, obviously, because we wanted to be, you know, representative of the actual event or the closest and the whole spirit and the mysticism around, you know, the Niagara Falls. And we thought, okay. So since then, we've been doing some sort of event every year there, between there and Niagara on the Lake. Niagara on the Lake, I chose because it's actually one of my favorite spots in the world in Ontario to go. And uh, so we go back and forth uh, between those two spots and we just do day retreats that uh, where we listen to Dr. Joe's teachings and the meditations and we just do walk meditations, seated meditations, what have you. And because it was just a standing tradition, we decided that we were going to do, we would host the walking, um, the walk for the world in Niagara Falls. It happened to fall on the exact weekend that we always did it every year. So we thought, okay, how more mystical can you get? So we've decided to just keep the date. And so we're also extending it to the next day. Um, and so if anybody's welcome to come as well, it's open to both advanced and uh, non-advanced students for the next day. So we're going to, those that are not advanced, you're gonna have energy from all of the advanced students, you know, just around you and the meditations are gonna be amazing. And we also have a guest that's gonna do a little bit of a cool uh, sort of um, thinking box activity as well. So you're welcome to come. So. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you two lovely ladies that have been in my life that have been sacred to me, and I wanted to uh, bring them in to help us with integration and intention, intention integration for what we're uh, going to be for our walk. What's our purpose? What 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 is it? What is your intention on uh, Saturday? You know, is there something you want to change? Is there something that you want to heal? So I'd like to introduce to you uh, Leticia, which is a uh, shaman she's been my shaman now for, uh, for you know a couple of years at least three 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 years I think something like that yeah yeah I've I done that. something like that and I've done many ceremonies with Leticia that have been absolutely lovely her energy is just beautiful and it's I I have a love affair with Paris and it's no coincidence that uh, her and I got to, you know hit it off so well she is Parisian and she's got this beautiful beautiful accent and she's just lovely um, she's lovely with, and she does amazing sound baths. And if you ever get an opportunity to do one of her ceremonies, I highly recommend it. She's just lovely. And uh, so, welcome, Leticia. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank and you then so we have, much. Quite coming. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have Judy over here, who is also a medicine woman, and she is the goddess of cacao. And um, and Leticia does cacao as well. So, and I'll get. Um, uh, Judy and, and Letitia kind of talk about how they kind of uh, know each other as well. And so Judy is um, the goddess of cacao. She does beautiful, beautiful cacao ceremonies all over the world. She does cacao retreats and um, she's going to walk us through this beautiful intention. Um, and uh, both of them are walking us through the intention and integration. But Judy's doing uh, a meditation uh, as well, correct? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, and a visualization. Um, and get us sort of in the energy of Saturday. So mm -hmm. without further ado, I'm going to give the floor over here to Judy. And um, if she could just introduce herself and, you know, tell Thank us a little bit more. Thank you so much, Mary. I'm on behalf of, I'm sure, every single person here. I just want to thank you for being the beautiful person that you are always showing up for all of us in this way, in such beautiful selfless contribution and service, uh, bringing all of us together, the amount of work that must have gone into this weekend, organizing this weekend and all the other beautiful events that you are constantly organizing and orchestrating. So my heart goes out to you, my love. Thank you so much. Um, thank, you. thank you for inviting us and thank you. I want to acknowledge beautiful Leticia Shaman. Uh, Shaman Leticia Shonon Soy is a beautiful soul who came into my world four years ago when um, Cacao started to call to me this beautiful master plant medicine. And I started to work with this incredible shaman four years ago, intimately through many, many beautiful journeys and dietas. And I'm just so grateful to be here with you, Leticia, and with you, Mary, and with every single soul here. And so excited to see you all on Saturday as well. Um, we really wanted to bring you all together. Mary um, was excited at the possibility of bringing our beautiful group together to really share one of the um, beautiful and important parts of any plant medicine ceremony or any kind of transformational journey, which includes what we're about to do on Saturday. And that is the sacred trio, the, the sacred three steps, the, the first step of the sacred intention. 
what is the sacred intention before we begin this journey? Um, and then the second step is the journey itself, right? The beautiful journey, experiencing and being present for that incredible uh, receiving and transformation and transmission. And then what is perhaps even the most important part is the integration. Um, how do we integrate that into our day-to-day -day and make sure that becomes part of us? And so we wanted to just spend a few minutes today to talk about sacred intention. And I wonder, Leticia, if you would like to share anything about sacred intention before we begin our beautiful little mini ceremony. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, the secret intention is very, very important. It will help you to guidance you and to navigate through your journey. Uh, because, yeah, sometimes you can be, for example, you're walking meditation, sometimes that uh, lost on your tough, lost on your emotion, and emotion can go through. And that intention will really help you to navigate and go through during all your journey. And that intention you can put on everything, just for let you know, it's on your food, on your drink, uh, when your session of yoga, whenever activity you do, you know, gardening. Just for let you know, it will really, really important is really connect to, with your inner divine side, second sense. Mm, it's beautiful, Leticia. Thank you so much. It's really bringing conscious awareness uh, exactly. into everything we do, isn't it? Conscious awareness and be, be prophesizing, declaring and prophesizing because we are the prophets, we are the wizards. And so it's it's being conscious and deciding what, what do I wish to bring? What do I wish to be, do or have or embody in this beautiful intention, in this beautiful transformational journey that is about to begin. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to invite beautiful shaman Leticia to uh, chant and sing one of her ikoros. For some of you who may not be familiar with that, an ikoros is a, um, a beautiful medicine song that comes through from the plant medicine into the shaman or the medicine man or medicine woman as a coded song of healing. And so she is going to be chanting and singing to us one of these beautiful um, ikoros. And we can really begin with our breath, of course, begin with our breath and start to get present to all of us right here today, start to get into our breath. Allow this other portal of breath. Allow ourselves to access this other portal and start to breathe so beautifully and so deeply. You can and continue slowly that and beginning also to thinking of your intention. What do you really want for such a day? Beginning to imagine walking through this meditation be together, you can you know, imagine, you know, with Mary, with Debbie and Claude, with Risha, Paige, everyone here, Daria, Carmen, Desiree, Carlos. Slowly to do that. Close your eyes, don't forget to press, big eyes and nose. Uh... 
our hands on your heart and your eyes closed, continuing our beautiful deep breath. See yourself walking through a forest. Can you see your feet, bare feet, walking through, touching, a beautiful earth, walking through a path, beautiful tall trees all around you, leaves everywhere, the smell of the forest is magnificent. Look at all of the plant people, the stone people around you. Notice the river flowing right next to you. Feel yourself deeply connected to everything here in nature. Deeply connected to Pachamama. See yourself walking towards a beautiful tree. You walk right up to this beautiful tree and you stand right in front of it and your feet right in front of this tree barefoot, both hands holding either side of this tree, this magnificent tree that you wish to connect with. See yourself leaning your head forward to the tree so that your forehead your third eye is leaning against this beautiful tree. Connect with this tree. Say hello to her. Invite her wisdom into you right now. As you connect with this powerful being, take a moment to connect with your guides as well. Your beautiful spirit guides or God. And let's invite from your guides, from these beautiful trees, from this beautiful network within this forest, from all that is and all that we are and all that we come from, let us invite a clear, sacred intention into our awareness right now. What is it that you wish to be, do, or have? What is it that you wish this beautiful walking meditation on Saturday to activate within you and for you? Let's sit in silence for just a minute so that you can have pure, delicious clarity of that sacred intention. Yes, you have your beautiful sacred intention. 
And now let's take this incredible intention of ours and let's make it even more sacred. Push out your chest and your shoulders and feel your whole body expanding as you feel this intention of yours becoming even more sacred. As you feel this intention of yours unraveling into even deeper transformation, perhaps we're not fully capable of comprehending in this very moment, but we will very soon. Expand the sacredness, the honoring around your intention. Beautiful. And now, still with your hands on your heart and your eyes closed, see yourself on Saturday. See yourself with this beautiful group, this group and so many more in that beautiful space, big open space. And you're walking and you're listening to the guided meditation. And you are walking and embodying this sacred intention. It is done. It is complete. Feel it now. Notice for a moment a future event beyond Saturday. Is there a future event, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, where you are seeing yourself now? That sacred inten intention is alive. It is you, it is whole, it is complete. The sacred intention we declare every single one of us into the universe. and we prophesize, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my loves. That was beautiful to set a sacred intention leading up to our coming together in person on Saturday. And what we will be inviting you as well to do on Monday, Monday evening, also at seven, is an integration call. And that is going to be so powerful. And that is where we will be sharing. And that is where we'll be talking about some exercises to help to bring this into our everyday. Leticia, I think, would like to share the pure meaning of the word integration. Exactly. I want to really share with you because I think it's beautiful. So integration comes from the Latin word and the meaning is make all. So you take what you just learn and you make all with yourself. All become one. You become one with just what you learn, what you just receive on teaching on lesson a message you receive during your meditation, just impact into one. Mm, making your transformation whole, right? Making sure it's set within your bones, within your being, within all of you. So the integration is a beautiful final step in our sacred trio experience in this powerful medicine journey the medicine of the walking meditation with Dr. Joe Spenza. Thank you, Mary, for this beautiful opportunity to share this with all of you. Thank you, all of you beautiful souls. I cannot wait to see you in person on Saturday. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary, for giving us 
this time to share our little magic second phase <laughs> to organize that and uh, yeah, to wish a beautiful work meditation I will not be with them with you but I will be in spirit mm. thank you beautiful Leticia mm. Mary I you're, think you're in mute <laughs> My darling, you're in this. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you to the both of you for coming and sharing your brilliance and your beauty with all of us here. I also wanted to just um, acknowledge uh, Paulina, and I don't know if she left, but um, she's been in sort of in the background and she's hiding, she's a little shy. Um, but uh, oh, she also... <laughs> oh, there she is. There she is. Yeah, I had okay. problems to come in. I had to come in for myself. <laughs> Thank you. So, Thank yeah, you. she's been my uh, also my right hand man and woman, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, in the um, organization of all this, uh, there are times when you know sometimes not everything runs so perfectly, and I'm running to Pauline. I'm like, ah, ah. you know, and she's always been there to kind of like, okay, Mary, everything's okay. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> It'll work out. So it's been great to have her uh, on board with me as well and help me out with all this Thank in the you. background. So, so thank you, Paulina, thank you. for that. Judy and Leticia, thank you so much for coming and for sharing your brilliance. Um, we have a little bit more time where I wanted to just make sure that you guys were familiar with logistics. If you had any questions about what's going on on Saturday as well, feel free to ask. Um, uh, as you know, we are meeting in Niagara Falls. Uh, we are meeting at the spot where we originally did the very first uh, Niagara Falls event and under a beautiful uh, tree. I don't remember if it was oak tree or for maple tree. Um, but uh, we'll be meeting there and right across, you see kind of like a, an awning, which is like the visitor's uh, uh, location. So it's right across there. I had a picture, right? I put a picture up on the files. Um, so I have a document there. I printed it out, but there's shared files that you can go through and read everything that you need to read. I have maps there as well. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Oh, it was like, like um, it was kind of like an information center. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see that right across, you'll see the tree. So we're going to be over there and there's lots of grassland there where after the walk, we can probably just relax there and have our picnic and have a picnic break. I invite anybody who is, and I'll post it tomorrow, if I remember, or tonight, who is an artist or who can sing or can do something that can entertain us through a picnic. I'll have music blasting in the, in the background and if we want to dance, there'll be Dr. Good music, whatever you guys want to do. Um, you know, and it'd be just also like a little social, we can get all to know each other as well because we're all coming from, you know, all over Ontario for the most part. Um, there's also parking there and there's two parking spots, one that's close by that you can walk and walk through the Rose Garden, um, which is beautiful there as well. So, uh, and then there's one that's up the hill. And, you know, when we first did it back in 2020, parking was like $10. I don't know what it is now. Uh, it's uh, been a while since I've parked in that spot. So uh, you, everything is laid out here for you. Please, please arrive if you can um, to check in. Um, at least an hour before in case you have any issues with you know download, downloading the meditation or you need to you know ask us any questions those of you who also ordered t-shirts thank you so much five dollars uh, of each uh, uh, t-shirt is going to uh, give to give um, and uh, so proceeds are going that way um, and uh, it's non-profit we're not making any profit on it it's whatever it costs me to make I just uh, am going to put five dollars towards that uh, towards each t-shirt Shirt. So if you, if you have a t-shirt and you order one, please come to us. I'll have a table there. We'll have a table there where you can come uh, check in and um, pick up a t-shirt if you've ordered a t-shirt as well. I'm picking up this. T-shirts are actually being delivered tomorrow. I should have them tomorrow. So that's very exciting. Lucy, who is not with us right now, is the one that actually designed it. She's another wonderful genius. I reached out to her. Reached out to her. I knew she was a, a graphic artist and uh, she doesn't do graphic artists uh, artistry anymore necessarily. She's kind of does uh, some other wonderful coaching, uh, which you'll have a little opportunity to have a taste of that later on uh, at another point in time. Um, so I have some ideas with what's going on with that. So just a little teaser, and you'll get information um, on Saturday as well on Sunday. So that's what's going on then. 10 o'clock sharp, we're going to start the meditation. Okay. I want to make sure I got everybody checked in. Everyone's got their t-shirts. Everybody's ready to go. They've got the meditation downloaded, got their earphones on. Bring a chair, folding chair. Obviously, if you want to sit, you can wear yoga, bring a yoga mat. Uh, if you want to sit on the ground, be more grounded. It's totally up to you, however you want to be comfortable. Um, and uh, so 10 o'clock sharp, we're going to start. I believe the meditation is 55 minutes. 
So when we come back, um, obviously we'll just, you know, relax. There's probably not going to be a lie down. Uh, I doubt it. I don't think he's going to do meditation to lie down. I think it's just going to be walking in and that's it, right? I think this is probably one of his shortest walking meditations because usually his walking meditation is like an hour and a half uh, if you're an advanced student. How many of you are an advanced student here? Just like time up, put up your hands there. Okay. And how many are non-advanced that are just brand new but or have done his work for a long time but have not been to a week-long uh, event? Anybody in the background there? Okay, sounds like everybody except, well, no, Katie's got her finger up, but Katie, you're an advanced student. So, um, okay, so also, uh, <laughs> Okay. I, um, if you are inviting anybody else to come with you, if they can register, so we know numbers as well would be wonderful. Um, everything again is in the shared folder. I um, will post it again so that people are familiar. If you got emails from me as well, everything and all that information uh, is there also. I've been giving you updates through email. Um, and what else do I need to share with you? Bring your own food, picnic there, whatever you want. I was contemplating a potluck, but I thought if there's over 100 people, how the heck are we going to? organize a call it's just a bit creepy. So I thought just bring on your food, enjoy what it is that you want to eat, and uh, you know, and uh, we'll just uh, chat, be merry and happy, and hopefully we can get somebody to either sing or I was contemplating of even you know uh, renting a karaoke, you know, but it's kind of too last minute. So I thought, you know, I don't know if anybody wants to sing out loud in front of Niagara Falls, but you know, maybe something for another day. We'll see. Now the next day we also wanted to continue this kind of experience. And so it's gonna be moved to Niagara on the lake. I got a permit for the bandstand. So it's the stage that's there and it's got all the electrical equipment that I need and uh, it's got picking tables and stuff. It's a lot of fun. And uh, so I uh, booked that for the day. So from 10 to four, and uh, there's also another document as well that I posted. It's also in the shared document. So if you can go through that as well, it kind of outlines um, what the day kind of is gonna look like. And uh, I haven't shared the meditations that I usually play until it's actually the day. And I usually get people to kind of, what meditation are you playing? And I'm like, just give them the unknown. You'll find out when you get there, it's a surprise. And sometimes I actually put together medleys of different meditations of his and kind of like let it all flow. I really put a lot of work into it, to be quite honest. And when, when I'm meditating, sometimes like the inspiration just comes and I'm like, oh, wow, this meditation will go great with this. And, you know, a bit of this from here. And, and it just flows well. Now, having said that, I'm not doing that on Sunday because we have a lot of newbies and so I kind of try to figure out how I'm going to integrate the newbies with the advanced and what I'm going to do because the newbies can only listen to meditations that are non-advanced meditations. So I've had to pick meditations that are non-advanced which is great because I mean hey they're all great right and I've picked one of my favorites that I have just been obsessed with for the last probably year um, and so you'll find that out on Sunday if you're coming. Um, and so we'll be doing that. And again, there's going to be a food box that one of our geniuses is going to lead us through, which is going to be uh, connected. To, well, I'm not going to really give it away. I'll let her just do it for you. You should be surprised. But I think I actually added it here. That has to do, did I add it here? Let me just see if I said it. Uh, I didn't. So I'm going to be surprising you. All right. So I won't say much about that. Um, but it's, uh, she kind of had a little teaser uh, at some point if you're in the dispensa, um, either the dispensa or the personal and spiritual uh, WhatsApp chat. Uh, she kind of talked a little bit about it and I kind of nabbed her and I said, oh, I want you to do this and let's do it on Niagara Falls because there's going to be quite a few people. Now, the people that said that they were interested for Niagara on the Lake were about close to 50. Now, is everybody going to show up? I don't know. My intention is hopefully they will. And if we have a great group like that, that would be fantastic. So, so anyhow, so that's what's happening in uh, Niagara on the Lake on Sunday again. The usual bringing your yoga mat, uh, your food, we'll have some snacks as well. That we offer you blanket, uh, earphones. Please bring your journal. Okay, so for our think box, we need a journal. You guys really need a journal because she's going to walk you through some things. Okay, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, think box and play box. Uh, so think box is where you're thinking about what your intention is, what you want to do, and go through sort of a, uh, a little activity or exercise. And then you're taking whatever that intention that you actually you know wrote about or uh, whatever it is, like, is it a healing? Is it something that you want to manifest as an abundance, sort of connected to abundance, whatever it may be. And then you're just in your meditation and you're playing with it, right? You don't have to think anymore. You've already done the thinking. It's all out of the way. Now your pure intention is to be in that play box and play and really live it, really feel what it feels like to really, you know, hone in on that intention, uh, that, you know, the dream, whatever it is that you want to manifest. Okay, 
So we'll be doing that as well. And then we'll end up with uh, maybe one or two meditations, depending on uh, what the time is. And then uh, we'll end off with like a closing ceremony and maybe a little social if we have time. And then that's it. So it's from 10 to 4 on. And obviously, it's, it's, it's complimentary. It's free. Um, and it's lovely. And it's in a beautiful, beautiful setting. Uh, the water's right there. So if we do walk meditation, to, to, we got the, you know, the, uh, I believe it's uh, the Niagara, or what is it? I forget what the water body is there. Why do I have a, I finally, I, I just got a brain block. <laughs> I forget what it is, but anyhow, um, you know what I mean. So uh, if there's any questions, I'm here and you can ask, uh, ask away and I'd be happy to answer them. No? So everyone knows what they're doing? Okay, that's fantastic. Who's excited? I hope everybody's excited. This is Maybe. like, we're, we're <laughs> making history, you guys. You understand? We're making history. This is like a first time, like Dr. Joe's doing some amazing stuff. Just with all his research is phenomenal to be part of that, even for myself, because, you know, I've gotten chosen a few times to do my very first time I was on, I had the uh, heart rate, um, monitor and I was one of the participants for that uh, which was very very exciting I uh, had uh, also participated in some of the healings and the last time I had it was saliva that they took the testing when I was at the AFU and so you know my DNA is somewhere in some research uh, which is like pretty pretty exciting you know he's trying to change this medical model and you know he doesn't want to look like a pseudoscientist you know like this is serious stuff that he's doing and going to change you know the future of medicine in a way that is just going to blow people away it's just going to be amazing and fantastic and i know katie's nodding her head because she knows what i'm talking about too and i'm sure all of you know what i'm talking about right and if you don't know what i'm talking about and you're not an advanced student get to a retreat man and if you are an advanced student and you haven't been into an afu get to an afu the energy is different a room full of advanced students meditating at the same time is like mind blowing. Great experiences. So, Paulina, do you have your hand up? Okay, Paulina has a hand up. No, no, just, yeah, just thank you so much, Mary, for uh, putting all this together, for your amazing work, your love for the community. Uh, we look forward to see you all on Saturday. Awesome, thanks, Paulina. Thank you. So if anybody has any questions, please, please ask. If not, otherwise, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Leticia. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Paulina. Thank you, Paige, Vera, Lorraine, Yana. Did I say it right, Yana? Uh, Desiree, Shauna, Katie, Paulina, Carlos. I'm not sure who iPhone is, but thank you and welcome for coming. Thanks for coming, Maria, Nikki, Carmen, Daria, Natalia, Donna, Brenda, Leslie, and uh, I have one that's covered because somebody's writing in the chat and another Katie is here as well. Thank you all for coming. I can't wait to meet you live in person and I haven't already done so. Thank you for coming everyone. And this is exciting times. Thank you. Have a great evening okay. everyone. And if you have any questions, get me on the chat. And just to let you know, we will send you the recording tomorrow as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, everyone. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.